guys, here to break down the Friday workout. We are going to get squatty with it today. A lot of barbell work, a lot of fun in store. So we're gonna be kicking things off um, all within a 26 minute time cap. We'll be kicking things off with two power cleans and five front squats. So power clean, we catch in that power stance, reset our feet and then hit five squats. The weights will be 135 for the men and 95 for the ladies. Uh, if you need a little bit of a guide for weight selection, I'm thinking you should pick something medium weight, maybe even medium light, because uh, you should be able to chip away at those reps with relative consistency and speed. You have eight rounds of those movements, so you're gonna have to do a lot of them. So let's make sure we pick a weight uh, that we're not breaking every three or four reps, but every set we hit, we're looking to complete unbroken, okay? Because if you don't complete it unbroken, you actually have to do an extra power clean. That's no fun. So make sure uh, your weight selection is proper for part A, okay? So you will jot down the time at which you complete part A, and then you will transition into part B, which sticking with the same barbell, the same weight and everything, uh, we'll transition into six thrusters and a 300 meter run, and we will do that four times at the conclusion of those four rounds you will check the total time um, and then you will report that so two times today the time at which you complete part a the power cleans and front squats and then the total time at the end after you complete the four rounds of <clears throat> thrusters and running i'll break down the movement some key points and more in the following for video. three of the four movements we're doing today we're going to be spending a lot of time in that front rack position. If I had a barbell, my elbows would be like this, my hands would be under the bar. I have a kettlebell, but it will do. So when we're in the front rack position, a big key is to stay engaged through your core and your upper back. Why do we do that? Because if we don't focus on keeping a nice upright torso, a nice strong spine, what happens is we see people tend to cave forward, especially once you get under fatigue and all your breathing muscles, which are the same as your core muscles, all those muscles are no longer functioning as well and we see people start to cave forward. It's going to be imperative that we maintain that upright torso for position purposes, um, as far as safety of our spine go, and for performance, okay? So you're preventing or reducing strain on your back and you are also uh, improving your performance because when you're in a good position, you're gonna make more efficient use of the force that you're putting into the ground. So what I like to say when we're in that front rack position is you wanna stay tall and tight, tall and tight. You wanna keep pressure through the midfoot um, throughout the entirety of the movement. And that includes on your power clean. We call it tripod foot. We want pressure on the big toe, the pinky toe and the heel, big toe, pinky toe, heel. And now I'm gripping the ground. That's gonna help me maintain my center of gravity through the midline of my body. It's also going to help me stay upright as I grind through those movements, uh, being the front squat and the thruster. Okay. Um, we've been doing uh, quite a bit of cleans and ollie lifting lately, so I'm not going to get too into the minutia of, of the specifics of the power clean. Let's just make sure we catch with good tension and we stand up the weight. Um, for the thruster specifically, let's make sure, uh, I, I kind of like to give a little analogy. It's like we're loading the spring on the way down, boom, and then releasing the spring on the way up. We are loading, boom, and exploding, okay? So we want to really feel that good stretch as we go down, and then feel that explosive contraction as we fire the weights overhead. Now, 135 for a thruster is a little bit on the heavier side, at least for most of us. So let's really make sure, um, like I said, we're controlling the weight down, so we don't want the weight to dominate us. We don't want the weight to move us. We want to move the weight. So we're controlling the weight down. As we drive the hips up and punch the weight overhead, um, we will, uh, after that, we will squeeze the glutes, keep our ribs down, exhale, and then brace again, nice and tight. As we complete those reps. So that's all I got for today, folks. I'm Coach Ty. I'm signing off. Peace out.